Okay, the effect of concentration on the rate of reaction. Now look at the conical flask. Just there, so you didn't notice I changed that. That's fabulous. Right, here we're doing the same reaction as we did with temperature. But this time we're changing the concentration of one of the reactants. So we're going to add it to acid, but we are going to change the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate. When you add sodium thiosulfate and acid together, hydrochloric acid, it forms a precipitate called sulfur, which is a solid because it's a precipitate. That's what that means. Yeah, so it's insoluble solid, which makes it go cloudy and you can't see the cross anymore. You change the uh, amount or the volume of sodium thiosulfate and that reduces the concentration of sodium thiosulfate. Really bad table there, no units at all. So that's what not to do because it doesn't tell you anything, does it? 50 what? Gallons? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so this one is the most concentrated because it's not diluted by the water at all. And then they get progressively more and more diluted. If I then, oh no, if I then plotted the results, here's a nice stopwatch to look at. If I then plotted those um, results a bit, let me just move the frame a sec. Um, then I would end up with a graph that the volume was really low, the time taken would be very slow and you'd end up with this sort of downward trend. So you could get all sorts of course, you'd also end, they'd show it another way where you've, you've got a graph going that way. Just got to read what it says so that you can understand what's going on. So in this case, you'd say as the volume of sodium thiosulfate increases, the time taken for the cross to disappear decreases. This is a negative correlation, isn't it? It's um, as one goes up, the other one goes down. Now to explain why, which is pretty straightforward, we can say here, um, if we have got some reactants, ooh, um, if we've got some reactants here, so we've got some green reacting with orange, and we increase the concentration of the orange, so we put more and more of them, then the faster and faster the reaction would be, because the more likely they would be to collide successfully, wouldn't they? Bon. They'd all collide, look, bon. So it would be a quick reaction. So for concentration, remember you can only increase the concentration of one of the reactants. If you increase the concentration of both of them, you're just sort of ending up with the, the same thing as you had before, just more of it. So if you use a more concentrated solution of one of the, reactant, the reactants, the reaction is faster. This is because there are more particles present they're more likely to collide with the other particles. The more successful collisions there are, the faster the reaction. So key points you've got to be, the more, let's get it in there, the more uh, particles, more likely to collide. Oh my goodness. Success yeah okay so therefore the faster the reaction fab i put a question in for this one which is a bit freaky um here we've got that there that was the same with the exam question it's got that one on there and you're investigating how to change the concentration of sodium thiosulfate affects the rate of reaction now obviously you would read all this carefully so you can pause it and then we go to the questions. Drawing a line of best fit on the graph, that's here on this one. So your line would be a straight line, which I'm not, oh my goodness, you'd have a ruler because that's rubbish, isn't it? It'd be a straight line down there missing out this point because it's obviously an anomaly. Okay, suggest two reasons why all the point, points do not lie on the line of best fit. And that's talking about errors and what you haven't measured properly, etc. So that's that. And then in conclusion to the investigation, the student stated that the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration. How does the graph support this conclusion? Now that is because it is a straight line going through zero, zero. So that's the main point they want there. Straight line going through the origin or zero, zero. And then the great favourite, explain in terms of particles what's happening and you use what we've just said. Fab.